guys, how's everyone doing? This is Moosh Pumpkin, and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make one of the most effective mob spawners, oh, EXP farms, that you can possibly make in Minecraft. This only works with skeletons and zombies. I prefer, zo uh, I prefer skeletons because they drop useful stuff like arrows and bones, which you can use for, like, your bow and for farms and etc, etc. So basically, for what you want to do first is uh, you want to when you find a dungeon, you want to light it up. You want to put torches around the spawner. I basically just have it on peaceful right now, just for the views of the video. So uh, you just put around torches here, and uh, yeah, basically what you do next is you dig down two. You dig this out. So I'm going to speed up. I'm going to speed up this part in the video. So we'll be back. So after you've done that and uh, you've dug it too, um, you've dug too deep within your spawner, you should go, you should figure out where your spawner is and place two blocks under them, and then you go out four. So you dig out four. So you have four on this side, and you dig out the wall that is there, on, and you, you should do that on both sides. So I'll be right back, guys. So after you've done that, you wanna make a trench. You wanna go in. Um, you wanna go in four blocks to like so four blocks. You don't wanna dig out this middle part because that's you know, because you don't need to do that. So you basically wanna dig out the under the bottom layer and you go out four. So that's that's four. And you wanna dig out all this. Oops. So you wanna dig out all this and make sure that. sure that the bottom layer is uh, all carved out and basically it should, it should look like this so basically what you want to do next is you want to take a trench you want to do it on both sides so basically what you do next is build a trench along the side and this should be eight so one two three four five six seven so you want to go out one more and want to take out this wall later so you want to take a water bucket and you place down water on these sides and that will just stop right there so that's what you so you put a block here and a block there and one side is done so I'll do it on the other side and I'll be right back guys so basically after you've done that you just want to place a block here. It's just for convenience. You this, this is not necessary, and you want to place the water bucket here. So this may seem like it's uh, always a source block, but it isn't. This is because water is flowing from both sides, which makes it look like this. So if I place a block right here, you'll see it will turn back to normal. Like so, as you can see, it looks normal. So if we just we go in here and we might need to just uh, we'll, uh, do this real quick. Uh, we we'll want to place work like a there too, actually. So we want to do that real quick also. Place work right there. So 
basically what you want to do next is you want to go up 22 blocks so I'm gonna go I'm gonna dig up real quick all the way to the surface and I'm gonna go down now and I'm gonna take 22 blocks and I'm gonna dig up I'm gonna go to survival real quick so Twenty-two blocks. So there we go. And we're gonna go survival. Okay, that's survival pick. And we're gonna go up twenty-two blocks. So. So okay, now we're twenty-two block up. And we're gonna switch back to creative. And we're gonna place a block right there. And we're gonna go all the way back down. So as you may remember, we went five, five, um, um, went five blocks to the side. So you, you go up here and you take five ways to the side. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and you dig all the way down. And as you can see, you drop right here. So you're gonna place a block here. And you're gonna place a wall there. So basically. Uh, you just need to place the sides and the water which will make the skeletons go up and go down so you want to place blocks here place a block here and you want to place a block there so this this part is going to be very hard if you are not in creative so I advise you to take a lot of water and a lot of signs because you might mess this up a couple times so you want to place a sign right here and work right there the sign right there and the book right there. You just go on like this until you reach the top. So you put it right there, side right there, da, 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 and you go on like so until you reach the top. So I'll speed this up for you guys so you guys don't need to look at me doing boring stuff. So basically what you what you're gonna do next is you got you are going to um, well, place a sign right here first of all, and then I'm gonna place a water bucket right here. So basically, what will happen is uh, the skeletons will <coughs> sorry, they will come up here and they're just high enough. <coughs> <coughs> they're just high enough to touch the water with their head. And basically, what what hostile mobs tend to do is they will tend to swim up when they touch water, so they'll swim up like this they'll keep on swimming up and this sign prevents the, the mobs from drowning so they, they'll go up, they'll go up, they'll go up they'll get pushed, they'll, they'll, they'll go right here right here until they get pushed off right here and they drop so basically what happens then they have one they have half a heart and then they'll drop right here so basically we want to take some glass panes and place it down there and they'll drop here and you can take your fist and you can hit them like so so I'm gonna go up there I'm gonna Take away all the torches and see how this works in action. Uh, water, I hit you. Okay, so you break all the torches here. I have enough beast from right now, so I'm gonna spawn some spawn some skeletons with the spawn egg. So let's get the spawn egg, skeleton spawn egg. There we go. So if you if the if the skeleton swim up they won't drown because there's always an air pocket between all the source box and when they're up here so let me just put it right there oops that one's up there. let me get a sword real quick because that one is not good anymore okay so maybe this one so as you can see they get dropped from down here and they'll get pushed downstairs and they'll drop right here so what happens if they drop right here they uh, they have one heart so basically you just take your fist and you hit them a couple of times basically you can take up to two times up to one time it really it really depends okay so they drop down here and basically now you've made your spawning so yeah so this was me okay hope you enjoyed the video 
the ratings was appreciated and yeah i'll see you guys next time